Hey, uh -huh. Ebony. Hi, ladies. How you doing? I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, oh no, you just had a birthday, so I get it. <laughs> 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 That's good. Good, good, good. I'm glad that you're here and happy belated birthday. I'm glad you enjoyed yes. this song. You definitely were all over social media. It was all grand. I was loving it, but that's a good thing. You Thank know, you. you're welcome. And then you saw, I saw where you were talking about your cover. Yes. Your book cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how you want to do. You know, you're just really getting people used to seeing you when they get on social media they see you. So when they start seeing you more, or if they feel like, man, I may have missed the post, they'll go back and look at your timeline. And you know, that that helps when it comes to getting yourself out there. You know. I'm trying to stay consistent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, stay consistent, stay visible. You know, and I would say a good three posts per day is good. And if you have something that you've seen and you'd like to share it, sharing it too is going to be helpful too. So it's just not all, you feel like it's just like a lot. You can find something, a quote, you know, anything, a video, an article, post it. Just as long as it aligns with who you are, your works, or your brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's say, okay, so what I'm learning is that, you know, um, the best thing you can do is definitely share, like, what you know. You know, um, every, I mean, it's good to teach everything we know. And then like when people start, you know, um, wanting to do more of like the one-on-one -on -one stuff, you know, it's, it, it's important that then you say, you know what, okay, now you're having access to just me and you one-on-one, -on -one, that's when you take and you do your consultations with them and you work with them one by one. So, yeah. Um, but I think everybody, we're all doing so good. I'm so proud of y'all. Like, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all I see is y'all on my timeline. <laughs> Probably because I interact with y'all more than a lot of people too on Facebook and I look in the videos and all that. So it, it's helpful, you know, that we are on each other timelines um, because then we're able to see each other um, and know that we're out doing the work. Um, so this is helping me a whole lot and I appreciate y'all. So our discussion tonight, I just really want to talk about since we, because this has been 30 days, we've been in quarantine for 30 days. So we have had 30 days to uh, hit some major goals and or if, you know, start hitting our major goals. So I just want to go around and see what everybody um, worked on, you know, how you feel about where you are in your accomplishment and where you plan to go. So. Let's just start off with what we worked on. Anybody can go first, except me. <laughs> Anybody want to go first? I want me to start calling your name. Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. So, <laughs> um, um, what did we? What did I work on? Right, that's what you said. Mm -hmm. So I worked on um, getting the platform together for the film to go um, live to be sold digitally um, and almost finished the flyer uh, for it to advertise it. So that's what I worked on. Good, 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 good. And then you, you know, I mean, and then all the other stuff that you worked on, considering that you, the film went out, you know, the awards and all of that good information because I know that was a lot of preparation too on that part and even promoting it last week for people to um, look at the, the film when it was in the film festival. So you did really good, you know, and considering, you know, your collaboration with Tish and all of the work that, you know, you both have been doing these last 30 days. So doing really good. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. Oh, so, yeah. I did all that, too. Thanks. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. <laughs> it's, it's good. Doing really, really good. Good. So, um, who's next? 
I guess I'll go next. <laughs> um, let's see. So I've been working on, of course, my book and the editing and the book cover. And um, my website I'm still working on and t-shirts mm-hmm. that, that I started doing as well as a mask. So, mm-hmm. So I've, I've been started a lot. So I've been yeah. with a lot. Okay. Great, 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 great. great. Okay. All right. And uh, you want to go to? Yes. Okay. So I'm writing it down. Um, collaboration with Danielle. Um, being more involved online. My goal for the month was to have like over 500 friends, like start my new Facebook account and have like 500 friends. So I max, I went over that go, um, but I also dialed back because I originally had male and females on there. So I took off the males so I can truly see how many women I'm reaching. Um, so I did that. So now it's back up to about 600, maybe over now. So that's a good thing. So I reached my 600 goal for this month. Well, 500 really, 500 goal for this month. And um, collaborating with someone on Facebook Live, which was Danielle, that was the first for me. Also um, putting out my first video, my first educational video. Mm-hmm. That was the first for me. So um, good. That's it right now. And like you look back and you're like, dang, you know, those, all of the little things are adding up to like a really bigger thing um, for everybody, you know? So it's just like, when you look at what you've done, it's like, man, and just think because some people aren't doing anything. Like some people are just letting the time go by or they're complaining, you know, about um, where they are or are not. So it's, 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 it's crazy. But looking at everything that, you know, y'all done, I'm going to give y'all a round of applause. Y'all doing so good. I am so proud of y'all. Big time. Big time. Um, what did I do? What did I do? Um, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I've done this, and I've been consistent. Um, and it's kind of starting off kind of like an interactive podcast to me just by doing this and starting a shot of tequila. That's good, it's something I wanted to do. And I've connected with, my goal was to, to 225, add 225 new people. I've only added under about 200. So I did hit my goal, which is fine. I can still work on that. Um, I was featured in an article, I didn't even put it out for dental hygiene kind of to tell them, you know, what they need to do next, because a lot of them are thinking about not going back to dental hygiene. So with me, I'm pulling them towards, you know, starting their own online business. Um, and what's the next one? Oh, and I made the mask. I was making masks too. I made the mask. That was something I did not plan on doing, but I, I'm doing it still, but I've been doing it. And it's working out just great. Um, and I've been practicing on some of my coaching skills with you all. <laughs> you know, I can never stop practicing. Um, so getting practice skills here and then getting some outside coaching um, more for the success part of coaching. I've started that. And so I think that. That's it. I know I've done it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. The coaching conference. Hmm. The coaching conference. Remember the one you just accepted recently? You said you were not sure if you were qualified for it or something, and then you got oh, the telesummit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. You are right. Well, thank you, because I did forget about that. I didn't forget about that, but yes. So it's really been, and thank you for reminding me of that. And it's been a really full month, you know, for us all. And we've all been focused and and 
on our goals. You know, that's the good thing. So where you are now, you know, how do you feel about so far where you are accomplished, what you have accomplished? Tell me about that a little bit more. Anybody can go first. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Um, so I am very, um, proud of myself. Uh, um, Danielle did this more than I did. <laughs> she was pubbing me more so than I was pubbing myself. Cause I'm just not used to that. I'm just used to being like, Hey, this is what I do. If you like it, come on. If you don't, all right, that's cool. But she helped me to get out of my shell and remember that, Hey, although we're doing these, um, collabs, you know, twice a week, you still need to remind people of what you do. So she's been very helpful and instrumental in that process. So I guess I'm getting to the point where I'm feeling confident to go out there and be like, hey, this is what I do. Come over here, get these services. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, because you hear a lot from other people talking about how they, you know, they are good at what they do and people need to come on and come over here. They're missing out. I don't normally talk like that. Mm -hmm. So it pushed me to to start talking very highly of myself and advocating for myself and 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 cheer myself on and um be my you know being my own cheerleader mm -hmm. so i think that's the newest thing and then being consistent like consistently being available at 12 o'clock and doing this with her i mean there was one time i couldn't come on exactly at 12 o'clock because i had to do something for my daughter's uh in my, for my uh church with my daughter but other than that just being consistent and being there and doing it together because mm -hmm. I'm used to doing everything, you know, alone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And that's good because, you know, she's, she's a real, I mean, you're good at, you know, definitely promoting other people and helping other people. And I think we all appreciate that, you know, big time. And that's what we're here for. We're sort of created like a sisterhood and it, it really yeah, feels yeah. really good, you know, to be supportive and stand behind each other. And, you know, and with you learning this new, really this new skill of live streaming to Tish, where you're now having to use your vocals in a different, in a different arena. So it's yes. helping, you know, with you partnering with Danielle, and it's helping you to bridge off now where you can create your own video, you know, but still keep the collaboration together. Because I'm always, I mean... It's something that I've been wanting to do for so long with people here in Columbus is to create some type of collaboration. And it, it's, it's hard to because everybody's in a competitive mindset rather than a, you know, um, collaborative. It's like, you know, and then you get into the, those classes and you just don't feel like it's you belong there, so to speak, you know. Um, and or you question whether or not these people are for you or are they just for you because they want what you can get from them, you know, what they can get from you. Um, so doing this really, really, and us all being in the same city, you know, um, I really do like that because I'm finding some authentic friendships too with everybody here and it, it's really a good thing. You know, it's really a good thing. So I really appreciate that. And yes, Tish, you know, I can't wait um, until you definitely, because what you've been doing is you've been building your reputation so much on your social media. Like, I mean, since that morning that you and I have talked, um, it seemed like you just kind of hit the ground and just keep running, not looking back, you know, and creating stuff as you go. And it's looking really, really good. It's looking so good, you know, on your social media. So when you do come out and you're saying, hey, this is who I am, this is who I service, and this is how I can service you, you will then um, be able to, where people will be like, okay, we know who she is. We know that she's valid. We know that she has a few people on her team and we can validate, that can validate her work. So you shouldn't have a problem getting people to, to do help you to do your services because your services are so needed people need to brush up their resumes and you know get their their um shit together pretty much so that when this thing has subsided a little bit 
they can learn how to transition or get back in there. And even for people who are needing to apply for online, you know, um, jobs online, they need a good clean, good resume, organized resume, um, and good appearance, pretty overall. So you're doing good. Good job. Very, very proud of you. Yeah. Yep. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So yes. So how do I can say how I feel about it and then I'll let someone else so far from what I've done is I mean I feel really good with what I'm doing it's like my husband was like when I told him I was taking a break yesterday he was like finally you know um because I saw like we all saw the opportunity to really get out here and and push ourselves beyond what we needed we have ever before because there's an opportunity for us to start building online so we want to make sure that we have all of our walls put up in our area in 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 our businesses um so that nothing will sink so we're working on our foundations um but i feel really good where i am you know usually i'm like oh i'm not happy you know but i i think that it took took a whole different mindset you know um in this season and i'm happy where i am you know, I am. Um, I did a lot of not most of the stuff that I needed to, and I, and just how God is kind of really like starting stuff, and I'm I'm not even I didn't know I was ready for, it, but hey, I'm ready. You know, <laughs> so it's been a good it's been a good journey this last thirty days. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Okay, so um, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. I've been asking for the time off to get stuff done, and I've gotten a lot more done than than I have in the past. I've been able to focus more. Of course, the kids and homeschooling and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. you know that that wasn't. I wasn't expecting that, and that's the end of the school year now. So <laughs> I had to navigate that. But I also want to point out that Danielle is a good cheerleader. Like she is good at puppy people up and she is so good at like like she has that confidence in you that like pushes you to have confidence in yourself and so that really has helped me to keep on like pushing and keep on going and the like so like I have like I'm working with a coach and you know Daniel's my she's my uh my mentor and I go to her writing classes so I'm doing a lot online and, and stuff like you know a lot more and a and nobody has no excuse but to be online right now so so i mean it's a great time to utilize the fact that people are just sitting there on their computers or on their phones or tablets with nothing to do going crazy so we might as well just get to keep on pushing out some information and and gaining their in their attention as well as gaining fans that you didn't have there before so exactly and, and, and you said that, I mean, we have to be online. And, I, and the thing is, is that if we keep doing what we're doing as far as constantly exposing, putting exposure um, to our business, you know, what we do, even in our personal life. I mean, I know a lot of parents transition into, you know, even you too, Tish, you know, and you think, yeah, we got all have to transition to like the homeschooling and how much you you had to overcome that hurdle and you had to like overcome all of these other hurdles so we, i know that we all ran into some obstacles some bumps but despite all of the bumps and the obstacles we kept going and we kept each other motivated within this incubated space so to speak um, and, and we've been able to hit those things. And yep, it's the end of the year. You know, even yesterday, now I forgot that it was Monday, really. I did not homeschool my daughter. <laughs> I was still in bed literally at like 3.30. <laughs> she said, Mom, I guess we're not doing school today. I was like, I guess not because I, I really forgot, you know. But it's it's in all of these hurdles and all of these uh, things that we've been through obstacles even some uh limiting beliefs 
that we had to overcome, you know, and all this month, you know, all of this month, we were put in a situation where we had no control of it. And it's about one of those things where you have to say, am I going to complain or am I going to create, you know, and, and we decided all to go out and start creating and putting momentum. So the more you do content, you know, even if it's on LinkedIn is a place I know I need to like focus on. So when it comes to, I'll just talk about that because we still got to hear what you want to but I think that, um, you know, when it comes to putting out content, information, blogs, any of that stuff, it's time to do that stuff, you know, at a, an increasingly pace now, so that when this all kind of blows over in the next, you know, 180 days, we don't know when, you know, but, you know, you will be at the top shining and you'll be at the top winning. So when people go to look, you'll be right there. You'll be right there, you know? So yeah, yep, good, good work, ladies. All right. All right, Danielle. Sorry, I figured out that, get that button again, okay. Um, I was cheering y'all. What was the question though? Oh, <laughs> no. Because well, I, was, we were I was like, I felt we were, like it was the same thing. I was about to say the same thing. Like, what did I do over the 30 days? What was the question? <laughs> the question is like, how do you feel about what you've accomplished thus far? Oh, how do I feel about it? Okay. Okay. So first I answer, what do I, I was like, wait a minute. I missed it. Cause y'all listen, I was listening to y'all though. Okay. So how do I feel about it? Um, I feel really good. Um, I feel like, I've got a lot accomplished. Um, I feel like I've I've learned a lot. And I think that's I believe is setting me up for next, for the next. Um, I feel like I've I've learned like being on with you, you know, you connecting with Avis and all that kind of stuff. Like I'm taking in a lot right now and implementing it, it behind the scenes, trust me. <laughs> and I feel like I'm just ready to be like, bam, you know, with, with presenting a lot of things. And so for me, that's a lot because um, there's some things that I throw out there um, because sometimes I just need to do that because I need to show that I can do it or prove to myself, not to anybody else, but to myself that I can do it. Um, and then there's sometimes when I'm really strategic about things. And, um, and so right now, just really being strategic, um, I felt at first, you know, that I'm like, oh, I'm not posting enough and all that kind of stuff. Then I was like, okay, girl, now you posting too much. You know what I mean? Cause, cause it was just like every five seconds I had a different flyer I was putting out and it was like, yeah, I want to show that I'm relevant and I'm working and all that kind of stuff, but I don't want somebody to miss something either, you know? And so just this whole algorithm rhythm thing, you know, so it was like, so then I would alternate. So if I wasn't posting on Facebook, then I was posting on LinkedIn. If I wasn't posting on LinkedIn, then I'm post, you know, and so just trying to find that great balance, uh, which I don't think there ever is one, but trying to, you know, still get that great balance, which, and then, you know, it's so crazy. It's like um, on LinkedIn, I think that I have a great, a, a, well, I don't want to say great, but a decent following on LinkedIn of people that interact with things that I do. But what I noticed is that if I am speaking at someone else's event or something, I feel like I get, I get followers, I get attendees, I get, you know, all this stuff. I get people that, that come along, right? I've gone to an event and it'll survey the crowd and they'll say how'd you find out about this oh damn yeah oh damn I'm like I don't even know y'all but okay amen mm -hmm. and but then if it's my event my writing classes my stuff that I'm doing you know crickets nobody where y'all at where's like dust you know 
And so I'm like, where is the balance? Like, so then I started thinking about it. Like, I'm just not going to put my name on stuff. Meaning I'm, pre- I'm not presenting it. I am hosting it or something, you know, because, um, you know, I'm told a gazillion times. I thought that, like, I thought my writing club actually would increase right now because everybody home and everybody online, you know, and all the people that couldn't make it out on Monday nights because of sports and all this kind of stuff, you know, and I'm like, okay, now there's no excuse. Everything is totally online. So I'm thinking that it's going to skyrocket and it has not. And um, so that has been the challenge for me um, as far as how I feel. Like, I'm like, I feel like everything that I'm doing with everybody else is the bomb you know, and it's producing and all that kind of stuff. But when it's Danielle's, I get the likes and I get the congratulations, but there isn't a true support there. And so, you know, for those that are on here, I mean, all of you guys have supported things that I've done here lately. And I'm truly grateful because trust don't think that everybody that is liking and all you know and all that kind of stuff is because they're not and so that has been the struggle is to figure out how to monetize those likes you know um with i feel like i guess i've exhausted my warm market um or something i I really don't know what it is and that was just like a little small little rant Mm -hmm. oh yeah it was a mixture of, of both what i'm excited about and my rant (laughs) because I'm noticing a difference just I'm really really noticing it and that's what I guess I'm excited about that like that I'm taking the time because you know my assistant and I have been working on different things on how to get out there and it's like yeah you know so now we're really taking the time to make sure that everything that um I've learned that I'm having that I'm executing it you know, so what have I learned about the placement of, of things on my website? Okay, let's reevaluate my website. Let's scour it, you know. So it's just, it's, that's where I'm at right now. And so just learning how to, you know, <laughs> continue to use my accolades because I know it's going to get me there. But sometimes I'll be like, dang, I don't want to use my, my, my accolades. You know what I mean? Because don't nobody care. But then somebody will come along and be like, girl, I've been watching you and did it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, yeah, it's that balance. And, you know, and that's a, I think we all have been through that. We all will go through that. And, and I believe, you know, and that's a good, I'm glad that you, you voiced both of them. But what we have to really look at, when we look at it from a big perspective, a lot of people don't believe in their selves. <laughs> Let me tell you, they don't. They don't believe in their selves and they can't keep their selves motivated. And when you don't believe in yourself, you can't take the right steps to do what you need to do to, in order, like your book club. It should be packed right now. It should be packed full of people, no doubt. But it's not you. It's them. It's the person who knows they need to be doing this, but what they're focused more on is complaining and going with the crowd and focusing on our, our, our issue. They're focusing on our issue. So their mindset has not shifted yet. It's like, a, like I always tell people, it's 95% mindset. When you want to get something, when you want to get somewhere um, or do something, you know, write a book, lose weight, you know, uh, hit five figures in your first book, you know, book thing. It's mindset. You know, we first, they, the people first have to get it in their mind. You know what? This is what I have to do. I believe in myself. A lot of people don't believe that they have a story. They don't. They think, who's going to read about my life? Like, my life is boring. But this person has been through so much. They survived this thing that they've been through. And it was their journey. And now they are in a a whole different area, different space in their life. But they still doubt themselves. So 
You know, it's not that. I still have issues with people who, um, when I put something out there and people don't buy it or people don't, you know, look how we've been doing this far through this whole thing. I've been offering free coaching, you know, ask me whatever you want to. I'm going to tell you, has anybody taken advantage of that outside of us for really who have been really consistent? No, but what it is is people don't believe in they, their self they they want to find an excuse for everything even though we ain't got no excuses right now i mean we don't you're in the house you know the only excuse and the most people have probably shifted into homeschooling their child so by the time they finish possibly working at from home and trying to fit in homeschool they're exhausted and they don't have they they don't want to do anything else. But then again, it falls back to excuses. You, you, you there is time. You can navigate. You, you have this month, whole month, not you, not you, but this is just in general, you know, um, this whole month to create two hours out of your day to focus on what you want. But some people don't. You know, they're just like, um, I'm, I'm just not going to do anything, you know. And even I have a friend who um, her goal through this was to get all of the little things. You know, I talk to her every day. She's like, yeah, I got all of these little things I want to do in my house. But she has to homeschool her two kids and she's working her full time job from home. Yet and still, she made the time to make sure she did what she was supposed to do in her 30 days. So it, it's, again, it's mindset, mindset stuff. Um, and when we find ourselves collaborating with other people, you know, people are like, oh, okay, well, you know, okay, I think I can validate her now. Oh my goodness, we, I want to do this because, you know, they see all of the other people that you have or that you're involved in. So I don't think that it's you that they don't believe in they don't believe in their selves and some people do things just to say oh i'm, I'm involved in that you know because <clears throat> you have a excuse me an event coming up on saturday you know um that you're doing with it, a collaboration of women kid you not you'll probably have a bunch of people come you know um, because they want to be part of what the other women i mean i hate to say it but it's true because there's other women that they probably recognize and in, in, involve their self. So it's not you, it's not us, it's the other people. There's so many people who need to take advantage of Tish services. Do you think that they're doing it? No, they're not because they don't believe in their selves. You understand? There's so many people who are going to need to buy your book, Ebony, but do you think they're going to buy it? No, because they don't believe in their selves. You know, but when people see that what they're investing in is not for us, it supports us 100%, but it's more investing in their selves. You know what I'm saying? It's moving them further, it's shortening their learning curve so they don't have to go out and piece together, you know, four hours of consuming inform free information when they can pay somebody and you can get that same amount in 30, 45 minutes to an hour. So it's the belief um, that people have around money. You know, some people we, we talked about their limiting beliefs around money. So it's a lot of lack here. That's why when it's time to do stuff outside of here, people can't operate that far because they're so exhausted and overwhelmed by the excuses that they've made mentally and, and marry themselves with that they can't see, you know, the forest, through the forest. Um, but this opportunity that we were given, you know, it's a life, I mean, it, it hurt some people and, you know, I can't put myself in the foot of someone who was a beautician and now they lost their shop, but with a, a, a um, using more of your mindset instead of being locked into the limiting beliefs of, oh, this is what they did, oh, woe is me, you know, I would have created some type of virtual, you know, um, 
hairstyles and stuff that they can do for home and, you know, be creative and have fun, do drawings. You know what I mean? It could have it's the raffles and stuff inside of a group. There is so much opportunity um, in this crisis. There were so many people who um, will be millionaires, you know, because they decided to not complain, but create. So again, you know, I, I totally get a hundred percent where you come from because I've had events. I promote them. I go to other people's events. I pay for them. I'm there. I'm on your team. You know, but when it comes to stuff that I put out there, it's like, well, I ain't paying for that. Like, but I, because we have to remember that everybody is cut from a different cloth. Not everybody's DNA is the same. You know, we know our heart and what we you know, and if we see that something is for us, then we're going to involve ourselves in it, not only because we like, you know, what the person is doing to help us, but we're also, we like the people, we like networking, we like to support people, but not everybody is like that. No, not everybody is like that. And that's crazy, you know. Um, so, and we have LinkedIn, you know, like you said, you're on LinkedIn and that's one I want to get more familiar with because I'm hearing so many good things about that. And I know that it will be beneficial for us all to, you know, to get in the LinkedIn space and, and see, you know, if I focus on LinkedIn, you know, for the next 30 days, like I focused on Facebook, you know, for all of this time, where, where do I see myself being, you know, because it's so, such an organic still is, it's better than Facebook. I'm, now, the only reason why I say that is because it has not got, it's not the algorithm thing yet. It hasn't done all that, but who's to say they may be creating that soon. So, you know, going here forward, you know, I, I wonder if, you know, if that will be our thought process. If I focused on LinkedIn as much and as hard as I do on Facebook, how much better will your network be? Maybe you will find a whole different set of people there because net, Facebook is social, 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 social. You know, I can't say that word back to back like that. But it's all of our friends and it's all of our family members. And it's all about the cute this picture and oh, I'm doing that. Um, so when you go to LinkedIn, it brings a different caliber to your business where you're actually dealing with professional people. So going forward, you know, I think what I'm gonna focus on for the for the next wave, you know, um, is LinkedIn and to see how that will help me and my business better rather than doing facebook you know so much i'll still post on there but my goal is to make sure that i'm leaning into face um linkedin to do as much as i can with that platform so but yeah any of the stuff that i just said anybody got anything to say about it you know especially when it comes to support you know if you have a different point of view as far as you know how people support you or they don't and you know is it all about you know um them and their mindset it's it's my belief from what i understand and i know so go ahead I did have something i would like to say i remember what avis i did i pronounce her name pronounce her name right dr avis Yes, Dr. Avis, when she mentioned that you can be, you can do one of two things, you can lean in or you can help people um, get away from COVID-19. So um, as I was listening to Danielle, the first thing I thought, because I'm actually on Facebook looking to see, Danielle, do you post anything about your writing session on your, um, on your profile, not your business page? Yep, I see it in your um thing and do you put like little videos of what people can expect no that's a that's the other thing i need to do is is videos um i did it like a little testimonial thing that i need to post 
Ebony's mm-hmm. supposed to do a testimonial for me. <clears throat> okay. But um God, you gotta remind me. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do need to do videos. Like I did do well, I did a video one time, but it was kind of like a you know, so yeah, it was one time where I just kind of said, and I did a video recently where I was like, What are some tips of when you get writer's block? And then it was you know, who can join the class. And I did get some, I think I got two people from that video. Um, So yeah, I do need to do more videos. Like a campaign kind of thing, like we've been doing, and then it's been helping me with my resume writing offers. So yeah, that's one thing I was thinking of, like if you can, um, I don't know, do wine and writing or something with, with, um, with you or something, I don't know something that help people get away, I guess, sign some release and relief through writing. Um, I don't know. I was just thinking about that, but your suggestion is awesome too, like just having some options. I mean, just going on there and doing some lives and talking about what you do, what you offer and giving tips. I like that. And then maybe something more like a virtual writer's retreat um that you could do something like that maybe it's two days maybe they can come in and they can do it on a saturday and sunday you know um and you can do a virtual it can be inside of a group you can do a facebook group but people will have to pay for this and and it's depending on what you what's going to be brought into that Maybe you can talk, um, you can have people come in who will be willing to teach people how to market, how to, to speak maybe like events or how to sell a book from the stage. Um, how to, like you said, do writer's block. Um, how to, it's different things when it comes to a book. Um, and just like trying to figure out the most commonly, you know, mindset when it comes to books, people have to be in a different mindset. Just kind of figuring out, if you ask your audience, like what are the biggest issues or biggest challenges you face when writing a book? Those can be some of the topics that you discuss at your virtual retreat. And it means whether you make it free or not, yeah, how to publish, self-publish your first book. I like that one too, you know, so, Whatever the challenges a person has, you know, that can be where do you address them at the virtual? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's one of the ones, how to create your first ebook that I was going to do. You know, I was going to teach people how to make their first digital product, you know, um, and I'll talk about how to do, like, come out, self-promote, do Facebook Live how to do some of the marketing and how to make your first product, how to get your, you know, things going as far as like when you put out, when you want to create an email list, like all of those things, those are things that people want to know, you know, when it comes to starting a virtual or digital business. So that is like my next movement, things I have already structured that I'm going to do that will help people. So, you know, in saying that, you know, Figure out a price that's comfortable, but I, you've been doing this long enough. You are an expert at what you do. You have an award-winning film um, that you created and from a book. So when it comes to those things, and we we know you have the accolades for them, you know, and I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to help you push this and make it um, big. You know, um, even connecting with people on LinkedIn, you know, that are, you know, like a person who's like maybe a um, New York bestseller author or something, you know, New York Times bestseller author who will be willing to even come in and give their information. I don't know what their expertise is, but even if they did it for free, they will still have like if people want to follow them or join an email list. So, but your goal really is to get yourself in a position where you are set up as the expert, as the person who knows how to take, you know, even with writing a book and converting that to film. But I think that the biggest thing most people want to do is write a book 
you know, and it seems like everybody's doing it, but how can you stand out? I've not seen anybody do no virtual book writing retreat. You know, um, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it advertised anything, but I think that will be a good start. So that could be something that you do. Thank you, ladies. I was writing those things down. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're welcome. As you know, I'll be attending. Yeah. And I think we all have a book inside of us, you know, that we still need to come out with. So, I mean, I would love to attend that, you know, for real. Like, we will all attend. I will attend. Yes. I was going to say something, um, Danielle. I was thinking also like how to, and this is what Tequila was saying about how to monetize like your expertise through like an ebook or something like that. Cause some, a lot of people are out here um, and they have a lot of knowledge and experience, but they don't know how to monetize it or productize it or how you say that. So help them to understand how to take their expertise and make it a product. Maybe that's the you know wording that would probably trigger some people to be interested. You know, that's that extra stream of income. You know, something like that. Just a thought. Mm -hmm. Yep, because it comes through your experience. You know, um, oh, that's a good topic. Staying motivated while in the writing process. Yeah, like take all of these topics. You know, take all of those are some good topics and those could be things that you actually, you know, help people with. That that could be an additional service, like that you you promote and you put out there. But it's all about, you know, setting yourself up. And it's not even about like, yeah, we're in Columbus, but you know, it's it's all about how do you stand out, period, from everybody else that is around you? You know, you can be connected to anybody, you know, in any state or any city, you know, but it's, it's all about, um, you know, how and what are you doing that's different than everybody else, you know? So, yeah, I really like, I like the ideas that are in the chat box for you. Yeah, good job, ladies came together with that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so moving forward. Um, oh, this has been a good conversation, y'all. Dang, we almost had an hour. This has been good. I love doing this. But uh, moving forward, where do you, what's next? Where are you headed next, like for the next 30 days? Y'all know me. I just told y'all. I'm going to focus on LinkedIn um, to see if that changes, what that does for my business. So, yeah, that's my goal. I'm going to make sure that everything that I've, you know, been working on gets out there. Um, so my podcast is next. Um, everything is pretty much solidified with that so ooh, sorry guys um pretty much solidified with it so that'll be out within the next 30 days for sure uh and that's the main baby right now and then um at the same time then um the ebook with um Tish and I that coming out after we're done with this whole interview tip series. Um, and those are important to me. So those are the biggest things right now. <laughs> good. That, I think that's really good. That's good because it's, 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 it's a constant movement, you know, towards just being out there, you know, just having stuff available. So when someone hit you know, go and they go to your website, you know, you're not just a pretty face and some words, you know, you actually have products and things to show that, hey, you've done the work and this is how you can further invest in me, you know, and even when people look for you to speak, you know, whether it's a virtual speaking event or it's like, you know, um, in a way thing or local thing, you have the receipts to follow, but 
it's about that passive income. You know, you want to have that passive income where it's not just you, you know, being a consultant for people, but you want people to go to your website and purchase something so you can make your sleep money, right? So that works. Good. Cool. Can I share something? Um, so one thing I know about myself is that whenever somebody does something with me, um, I guess this comes from my mindset of being in project management and also being a, a person who's um, trained to be an educator. There's always got to be an output. So whatever I think about doing, the end goal is what can they physically take away from that experience, whether it's a document, that's completed or something. So I work backwards with that in mind because I want them to walk away even at the end of a session. What, what did we want to achieve today, you know, and have that so it builds upon whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish by the end of that series. But um, that's how I function. I function with the end in mind. Like there's gotta be an output. There's gotta be something tangible they take away. And not unmute myself. Um, but that is good. And that, that is good because when you start with the end in mind, like you said, you can work backwards. You can reverse engineer and figure out, okay, what do I need to do to make sure the person feels this way when they leave? Um, because they're going to take away not only something tangible, you know, whatever service you provided for them at the time, but they're also going to take away the intangible how did she make me feel when I was with her? You know, did I feel like I was rushed? Did she feel like, did I feel um, as if she was listening to what I needed to do? Was she attentive to my needs? You know, because those are the most important things. You know, the person, you can do really good with the service, but if you as an individual became, was not, into it 100% with the person, or if they felt as if you was being snoop snotty and all this stuff, they are not going to refer you to nobody. They're not going to want to work with you again. You know, so it's, that is where, what we talk about <clears throat> when it comes to a personal branding. That is your personal brand. That's the imprint you leave on people after you finish doing the, their, their service and working with them. People will, like a, that old saying says, people won't remember what you said, but they will remember how you make them feel. And that's it. You know, that's it with anything that we do out here in the world. People will remember that. So, good. Just, that was good. And it's so true. So, great. Great. Sweet. So, I'm going to keep on pushing and I'm going to finally get this website done. <laughs> so it's been a process. Like, <laughs> and I'm just uh, really going to like push this, um, this book cover reveal and maybe work on my other book projects that, that I have already lined up. And continue to like really like learn this whole t shirt and mask thing, like really learn that. So, yeah, I'm gonna just keep on doing what I'm doing, but I'm gonna become better at it. So, good, good. And then, like with your website, I want to say my first website was like a one page website um, because I've built all of my own websites. And when it comes to websites, when you start adding different things, it becomes confusing. So the top things when you're building a website, if you build a one page website, the thing that people want to know is who you are, what is your story, like what experience and all that. Um, do you have any products, you know, and how you can help them and how they can keep in contact with you. So if you stay in lines with those five things um, and, and not feel like you is complicated then I think that you would do really good with that you know that takes out a lot of the complications with it you know just making sure that it's who what you know what you do who you are what products or services you offer um, how we can help them 
and how can they get in contact with you? If they know that, then in the beginning, especially, that's, that's good enough instead of making it too complicated for yourself, you know. So if that helps you mentally, you know, structure it, then I think that'll be better. Yeah. That helps. Okay, good. Well, this was a good session. I really appreciate y'all. Um, and if y'all have any questions, just let me know. So we'll be back tomorrow. And all right. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day, ladies. Thank you both all for being here. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Love y'all. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.